Had this for about three months. Used it a handful of times and everything has been fine so far. Get solid run time out of the 5.0 all battery it came with. Never had to run it for more than 10-15 minutes and it's done fine, even when it wasn't all the way charged. I'm sure if you had 30 plus minutes of heavy duty work to do it would take its toll. Power on high is good, little weak on low setting. Low setting is nice when you're trimming against anything you don't want to mark up and it will still cut the weeds or grass. I am 6 feet 2 inches and it is comfortable to hold and use. Don't have to hunch over at all. Feeds string well. Easy to refill balance is a little weird. Head is heavy but you get used to it. Cut path is a little small but it feeds string nicely. Haven't had an issue yet, and hopefully won't, but I could see where the motor on the head of the unit could get a lot of junk in it. The thing that made me most hesitant in reading reviews was people saying it started grinding and quit. I put the air gun on the compressor and blow everything out of that part of the machine real good when I'm done to make sure nothing is getting trapped down in there. Shouldn't have to but I'd rather be proactive. Not sure if it's working but time will tell. Overall if you are the average American have a yard of roughly an acre or less, trim around the house, fence, kids swing set the sweet eater should be fine for you. I have my yard set up so I don't have to do a ton of trimming so it doesn't get heavy use and I think a lot of people might fall into that category. I can throw the battery in and go, not messing with gas, choking, priming, smelling like fuel, etc. If you're going to be clearing large areas of heavy weeds and grass, on a regular basis, or you spend more than 30 minutes trimming every time you mow then I'd look elsewhere. This will be capable of doing the occasionally big job but I don't think it would hold up over the long haul.